Welcome to another episode of Jessica's Ratchet, a prison, a cooking show. What's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be making prison tamales. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Jess. I'm a person in long-term recovery who has served time in prison. My entire crazy life story is in the description box down below. If you wanna follow me on any other social media platform, TikTok, Instagram, Patreon, that's $2. It's only ever gonna be two dollars. All of that is linked down below as well as my vlog channel and my podcast. Go subscribe to those. Or don't, it's fine. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, first things first, the ingredients always differ depending on what facility you're at and what you can buy on commissary or steal from the cafeteria aka chow hall. So depending on what you can steal or what you can buy, uh, these ingredients might change. So our masa, let's start working on our masa first, which is going to be corn chips. Now you have to smash them up the best that you can. And I just realized that this bag broke, so I had to run all the way downstairs for another bag. So what we have to do is we have to get the corn chips out of this bag, but it's like all broken over here. So, you know, gonna be a little crazy. What we would do uh, in replace of a Ziploc bag in prison is we would use a chip bag. So we would make our masa with a chip bag. But we're in the street today, so. I'm just gonna take a spoon, put our masa in here, smash it up just a little bit more. Now this is not going to be as good as authentic tamales. I love Mexican food. I love Mexican food. It's one of my favorite things. So this is not going to be authentic, but it's pretty freaking good, not gonna lie. So hot water into our bag to make our masa. And just by feel, you're gonna be able to know if it's enough water. Think about how masa feels, right? So that's kind of what we want here. You have to be careful when you're doing this in jail or prison because resources are limited. So um, I've definitely messed up a whole meal before. If you added too much water, you could just add more chips. In the free world, it's not a big deal. You know, chips are very cheap. Uh, in prison, it is a big deal. We can only go to the store once a week or once every other week or once a month, depending on what facility you're in. So you have you gotta be careful. And it takes a lot of patience to make this food. You know, I, I know I said, I've said in every single recipe that this really takes me back to learning how to cook and I had a passion for it. As much as you might see this and be like, ew, why would you want to eat that in the street, like you're not in prison anymore. I love prison food still, not what they serve. The food that you can make. Inmates are so freaking talented, so creative. So this is not my recipe. Most of these recipes are handed down. There's like a whole culture surrounding food in prison, you know? And it's like that one time where we all come together and for a minute, you're not locked up. For a minute, you're just making food with your friends. Also, it's hard to find friends in prison. Anyway, beside the point. So here I have chicken, just shredded like rotisserie chicken that I stole from the chow hall. I didn't. <laughs> um, sometimes you can't steal chicken or sometimes they don't serve chicken. So a lot of times inmates will use tuna. Uh, they don't come in cans like this in a lot of facilities. They come in like the pouches. So tuna or salmon or even mackerel. I know, ew, eh, not a fan of mackerel. Uh, but you could also get chicken in pouches like that as well. So it just depends on where you're at. For some reason, I decided to bring plastic spoons to do this. Why? Why didn't I just get a fork? I don't know. I wanted to make my life really hard. Now this chicken is going to be flavored. Frank's Red Hot, which is my favorite. I love Frank's Red Hot. Um, did I mention this is not authentic? Mexican food. Um, but I like spice, so I'm gonna add Frank's Red Hot to that, which you buy on commissary. It's probably not gonna be Frank's Red Hot, but you are going to be able to buy hot sauce in most places, I think. Jalapenos, which are sold in almost every uh, prison in America. 
pickles are sold in every prison in America too, but like not a jar. It's like pickle in bag. So I'm going to add jalapeno queso. This would not be Tostitos either. It'd be some like off brand or whatever. I'm gonna add cheese to it. Mix that up and I'll show you. Roll up my sleeves for this. So we are going to take, this is parchment paper. Again, this would be done with like chip bags or just whatever we can find. You could even do it with like paper, like actual paper. This is just parchment paper. Uh, but yeah, chip bags or whatever you think. Whatever you have handy. We're gonna <laughs> take our masa. I'm just gonna have to get my hands dirty. So when you're cooking in prison, you have to be very mindful of the fact that we like things sanitary. So I would steal gloves for all different kinds of reasons. Um, one of the reasons being that um, women take a glove and make, you know, toys. Uh, and they put the glove over the toy that they made out of soap or Jolly Ranchers or pads or whatever they've decided to make that out of. Uh, so I would steal the gloves and sell them to the women that wanted to make those toys. If you have been following the channel for some time now, you know that stealing was my specialty, never from an inmate, always from staff or the facility, but it would be like garbage, like things that they don't care about, you know, like a glove. And I just touched my hair and now I'm touching food. So I would already be kicked out. <laughs> no inmate would let me do this without gloves or just not touching the food. You know, it's a it's a big deal. And while it sounds weird that like inmates care about hygiene, they do. They do. It's the most important thing. Hygiene over food products. So if you're cooking for multiple people, like say we all throw in something together. Like that means I bought the chips, maybe you bought the hot sauce, someone else bought the cheese, and then someone stole the chicken out of the chow hall. Well, guess what? We all throw in together. And there's one person like assigned to cook the food. If my hands are dirty, or if I'm touching my freaking hair and then touching the food. Girl, <laughs> you're gonna hear it. You are gonna hear it from them, let me tell you. Okay, so, if I was a professional YouTuber, I'd have a camera over the table, but <laughs> we are where we are. So this is the mixture. This is the chicken, the queso, the Frank's Red Hot, and the jalapenos. And we're gonna take the little pieces. There is nothing more filling than some extremely salty food. <laughs> like, oh my God, this has so much sodium in it. Now we have to fold it. I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm good at this because I'm not, but. <laughs> okay, and then, oh no, see, I didn't add enough water. That's okay, that's okay. I can fix almost anything. Didn't I like go on a rant about knowing the texture if you've done this for a long time? And then also Jessica didn't add enough water and didn't know the right consistency. Yep, that would be me. So, I mean, it's not pretty. And there you have it, prison tamale. You might be wondering. Okay, but is she gonna try it? You think I would make this food and not eat it? I just have to take my Invisalign out first, so. Oh, if you want to see an Invisalign vlog, I'll link it in the description box down below. Okay, prison tamale. So good. Mm -hmm. Food should make you dance. You know, like you should do a little shimmy after you eat some good food. If you don't do a little shimmy, shimmy after you get your food, your food sucks, I'm just saying. Food should make you happy, it should make you dance. And um, every single thing about prison recipes bring me so much joy. It's so good. It was like the only happiness that I had in, you know, like a sea of pain. So if you try prison tamales, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them. And I'm also going to leave all of my recipes on a playlist in the description box of this video if you're interested in more prison recipes. I'm gonna end today's video here. As always, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay in recovery, whatever that looks like to you. But for now, I got a tamale to eat. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bruh, Invisalign makes you so thirsty.